Hey, what's up guys? Synapse here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to stream epic audio using Adobe Audition, virtual audio cable, and OBS. And basically, using just this software and a microphone without any crazy hardware, you can get um, a very radio-like sound, a very podcast-like sound for live streaming on Twitch. Here's the microphone, and in this case, I'm using the Audio-Technica 2500 USB. So here's a conceptual diagram and it shows the flow of audio through the software until it gets out to you guys, the viewers. And it starts with the microphone and it goes into Adobe Edition. Adobe Edition does some background noise reduction, eliminates all noise. I'm serious. I could be talking on Skype and having other voices come out of my speakers and this really sensitive mic doesn't pick that up, yet it picks up my voice perfectly. This setup can amplify your voice uh, so it doesn't sound like you're whispering into the mic. On the other hand, if you like to yell when you're live streaming, which happens, you know, you're playing games and uh, you're getting really competitive, you just yell into the microphone, that's not a problem because this software has a limiter built in. And so basically no matter how loud you get, um, the microphone is going to limit that sound coming out to the viewers so what are the problems with this setup? The only problem with this setup is you have to have the software and the software has to be running when you're live streaming. Um, doesn't sound like much of a problem to me. First off in this tutorial, uh, I download virtual audio cable. I'll put a link to this stuff in the description. Check that out. Download virtual audio cable, run the installer, and just click OK, click install. Once virtual audio cable is installed, you shouldn't need to do any more configuration on that by default. So what we're going to do next is set up the microphone and speaker settings. Go down to the little audio icon and select recording devices. So first we're going to configure the microphone and under the recording tab, click on the microphone you're using. If you're using a USB mic, then you're going to choose your USB mic. What we're going to do is we're going to set everything at 48 kilohertz. Here I select uh, stereo, 16-bit, 48, and here I'm going to select the levels. I'm going to set it at about 50. Uh, next, in the recording tab, you might have to scroll down a little bit. Select line 1, and here I'm going to select the levels. I'm going to set it at about 50. And also select 40 kilohertz. 2 channel, 16 bit, 48,000. Now go to the playback tab and select line 1 again and do the same thing. Make sure that 48,000 is selected. And we do that because a virtual audio cable is much happier when everything is consistent. Okay. Next, I open up Adobe Audition and here I have a template. This template has all the audio settings you need to get started. And these are the exact settings that I use uh, for my voice right now. So first off, in Adobe Edition, hover over the little input output tab and then click on the input pull down tab and select audio hardware. You can also get to audio hardware from the preferences. So here I'm using MME for the default input Select the microphone you're using. And for the default output, you're going to select line one, which is virtual audio cable. Now for the latency, that adds a little bit of delay to your voice. Uh, but so far, if you select 100, it seems to be okay. Uh, you can select between 50 and 100 and it should work without noticeable delay. And then you want to make sure the sample rate says 48,000 because that's how we set up our sound devices and deselect attempt to force hardware. So next in that input pull down, select uh, stereo and then select your microphone. And likewise under the output tab, select stereo and select line one. If you don't see them there just like that, you may have done something wrong. Now click on that little R button, uh, that's going to enable recording, and then click on the I button, 
and that's going to enable monitoring. All is going well, you should see that little green bar moving up and down as you speak into the microphone. Next, to test if this is working, we're going to open up the audio repeater. This installs with virtual audio cable. In the start menu, find virtual audio cable, select the audio repeater MME. For wave in, you're going to select a line one. And for wave out, you're going to select your speakers. After you press the start button at the bottom, you should be able to hear everything you say in the microphone come out on the speakers. All right, but if the audio comes out and it sounds really choppy, go back to your audio hardware settings and you can try playing around with the latency. Additionally, um, if something sounds weird, just close all the programs, close Adobe Edition, close the repeater, then restart Adobe Edition. That's fixed problems for me in the past. Let me show you what some of these audio settings do so that you can modify them for your own voice. So at the top is the adaptive noise reduction. This is going to reduce any hiss or any background noise that you have in your room or your environment. The next one down is dynamic processing. This is basically a gate. This is going to also help you to eliminate noise. Uh, if you pull that point to the right side, it's going to make the gate more aggressive and it's going to cut out more noise. And if you pull it to the left, it's going to cut out less noise, uh, but it's probably going to sound a little clearer. So you have to try to um, optimize that for your own environment. Down on the multiband compressor, that's going to compress the voice, give it a more radio sound. You don't really have to make any changes there, uh, but feel free to experiment with that. The next one down is the parametric equalizer. Uh, the parametric equalizer is going to let you uh, add EQ to your voice, so more bass, uh, more treble. And finally at the bottom is at the bottom is the hard limiter. This is going to keep the voice from peaking and you should definitely have that enabled all the way at the bottom. There's a tab that says amplify, but I'm actually going to change that to speech volume leveler and um, if you download this from my website, that should come already enabled. That's going to automatically raise the voice levels and kind of normalize the voice level for you. Another thing you can do down at the bottom left is you can save this as a preset. Uh, just click that save button, give it a name, and your settings will be saved. Now here's how to configure OBS. Go up to the settings tab and select the audio tab. You want the desktop audio device to be your speakers. And for the microphone, you must choose line one here. Here I check the box to force microphone to mono. Okay, so here's an advanced technique. This is completely optional, but if you're experiencing some delay where your audio and your video are mismatched, you can offset the audio right here. You might try like negative 50, uh, but don't touch it if you're not experiencing out of sync audio and video. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. You can use this technique for any program including Skype, XSplit, OBS, or uh, any voice over IP applications to make your voice sound more clear, more full, and give it a very podcast or radio-like uh, sound to it. And in any case, it's going to be cheaper than $500, $1,000 of hardware equipment that you would need to produce the same sound. I already made a preset for you. You can download it in the description. It's going to have this all set up for you. All you need to do is download the file and run it. If you like this video and you're thinking of using this preset, you can show me your support by subbing to the channel, sharing the video, and giving it a thumbs up, giving it a comment. Let me know if you have any questions. Good luck and have fun.